Alright, well hello everybody. My name is Calvert Gay and I'm excited to be here to be hosting Who Wants to Be a Millionaire a live 3D show for you. Uh, let's go over the rules and well they are very very simple. Altogether there will be 15 questions for you to answer. Each of these questions will have four possible options, them being A, B, C or D. If you do answer a question correctly, you will be one step closer to the grand prize of 1000 euros that will be equally divided between everybody that does answer correctly. If you do, answer all 15 questions. Uh, for you to decide which of the answers you want to go with, you will have 15 seconds to do so. If you do get stuck with a question, do keep in mind that you also do have two lifelines available. One of them being 50-50, where uh, if you use it, two of the wrong answers will be taken away and you will be left with only two remaining answers. And the other one being asked the audience, where you'll be able to see which of the answers majority of the people have chosen. I do hope that everybody's having a beautiful summer already and I do hope that you're ready for this show. Of course, I do wish everybody nothing but the best of luck. So it's time for us. So let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Well, alright everybody, it is time for us to get into the first question of the show. What sporting equipment is used for striking a tennis ball? Is it A, tennis rackets, B, boxing gloves, C, baseball bats, or D, punch mitts? And well, that's question number one for us. And you know, knowing that it is the first question should be a fairly easy one. Nevertheless, is that your final answer? Well, I'm very intrigued to see how many of you will be getting this first question correctly. And as for the correct answer to question number one, it's a tennis racket. Well, congratulations everybody who did correctly answer to this question. Let's take a step closer to the grand prize, all right? As for question number two, footballer Neymar is from which country? Is this country Jamaica, Brazil, Argentina or France? And well, here we go. That is question number two for us. So Jamaica, Brazil, Argentina or France? Is that your final answer? Well, it is time for us to figure out which of the answers is the correct one for question number two. And as for the correct answer to question number two, it is B, Brazil. Well, my compliments everybody who did get this question correct. Let's move forward to question number three, all right? As for question number three, MMA fights take place in a fenced area known as what? Is it A, ring, B, courts, C, cage, or D, pen? And well, here we go, that is question number three. So step by step, we're getting closer and closer to the grand prize, all right? Have you chosen an answer already? Well, and all right, it is time for us to see how many of you will be taking yet another step forward. As for the correct answer, it's going to be C, cage. Well, compliments everybody who did get this question correct. Let's move to question number four. And I do see that 1,979 of you do take another step. Uh, which of these boxers was nicknamed the Hitman? Is it Ricky Hudson, David Hay, Amir Khan, or Kel Brook? And well, here we go. That is question number four for us. So Ricky Hatton, David Hay, Amir Khan, or Kel Brook? Well, let's figure out which of the answers is the correct one. And let's see how many of you will be taking another step forward. Now, as for the correct answer to question number four, it is a Ricky Hatton. Well, compliments everybody who did get this question correct. Next question is number five, so already Already, you know, a bit of a milestone, isn't it? But moving on, Jesse Owens famously won sprint golds at the 1936 Olympics in which city? Is the city A, Paris, B, Prague, C, Moscow, or D, Berlin? And well, here we go, that is question number five. Well, is that your final answer? All right, so I'm very curious to see how many of you will be moving forward to the next question. And as for the correct answer to question number five, it is D, Berlin. Well, my absolute biggest congratulations to everybody who did get this question correct. If you have not already used the lifelines, well, do keep in mind that you still do have them available. And after this fifth question, 1,490 of you take a step closer. A Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a famous name in which sport? Is the sport athletics basketball, golf, or sprints? And well, here we go, that is question number six. As well, so that you know, for you to answer these questions, you do have 15 seconds to do so, all right? 
Well, but let's see how many of you actually will be moving forward to question number seven. And as for the correct answer to question number six, it is going to be B, basketball. Well, as always, compliments and congratulations to everybody who did get this question correct. Let's move on to question number seven. Which BMX rider landed the first ever double backflip in the competition at the X Games? Is it A. Dave Mira, B. Ryan Nyquist, C. Matt Hoffman, or D. Tony Hawk? And well, here we go. That is question number seven. So A, B, C, or D. Is that your final answer? Well, here I'm very intrigued to see how many of you will be getting forward to the next question. You know, for me, BMX, I used to do it myself. I love things, you know, that are associated with BMX. But as for the correct answer to this question, it's a Dave Mira. Compliments everybody who did get this correct. Let's move forward to the next question. Terms boundary, LBW and wickets are used in which sports? Is it baseball, tennis, athletics, or crickets? And well, that is question number eight for us. So baseball, tennis, athletics, or crickets? Have you chosen an answer already? All right, well, let's find out how many of you will be getting this question correct. As for the correct answer to question number eight, it is the cricket. Well, as always, compliments everybody who did get this question correct. And we are yet another step closer to the grand prize of 1,000 euros. In which year did Hussein Bolt retire from sprinting? Is it A, 2009, B, 2011, C, 2014, or D, 2017? Well, that's question number nine for us. So A, B, C or D? Is that your final answer? Well, all right, everybody, the next question already will be the 10th question, so already quite a big milestone. But as for this question, the correct answer is D, 2017. Well, my biggest compliments and congratulations to everybody who are moving forward to question number 10. 613 of you will be moving to question number 10. Women's cycling first appeared in the Olympics in which year? Was this year A, 1964, B, 1976, C, 1984, or D, 1992? And well, here we go. That is question number 10. So already a big, big milestone. And I'm definitely, definitely very intrigued to see how many of you will be getting this one correct right here, right now. And as for the correct answer to question number 10, uh, it is C, 1984. Well, compliments to everybody who did get this question correct. Ten questions down, just five more to go till the grand prize of 1,000 euros. If you have not used the lifelines, well, do keep in mind, you still do have them available. But moving on to question number 11. Vitaly and Vladimir uh, Klitschko are boxers from which country? Is this country A, Costa Rica, B, Russia, C, Ukraine, or D, Poland? And well, here we go. That's question number 11. Well, have you chosen an answer already? Well, let's see. It's time for us to find out which of the answers is the correct one to this question. And as for the correct answer, it's going to be C, Ukraine. Well, compliments everybody who did take yet another step closer. We've got just four more questions go till the grand prize. As for question number 12, lacrosse originated from which continent? Is it Europe? Asia, North America, or South America? And well, here we go. That's question number 12. So A, B, C, or D? Is that your final answer? Well, very intrigued to see how many of you will be moving to the final three questions. As for the correct answer to question number 12, it is C, North America. Well, compliments and congratulations, everybody who did take another step closer. I see that 414 of you moved to question number 13. Which country beat Argentina in 2019 to win the Basketball World Cup? Is it A, South Africa, B, Spain, C, Canada, or D, Lithuania? And well, here we go. That is question number 13. So A, B, C or D, have you chosen an answer already? All right, everybody. It is yet again the time for us to find out how many of you did get this question correct. And as for the correct answer to this question, it's B, Spain. Well, compliments and congratulations, everybody who did get this question correct. Just two more to go, all right? So the best of luck. 
Which tennis legend was Jimmy Connors engaged? So, is it Martina Navratilova, Chris Everts, Gabriela Sabatini, or Steffi Graf? And well, that's question number 14. So, A, B, C or D? Is that your final answer? Well, let's see how many of you will be moving forward to the final question of this show. As for the correct answer, it is B, Chris Everts. Well, compliments and congratulations everybody who did get this correct. Just one more question to go till the grand prize of 1,000 euros. 308 of you do move forwards, and if you have not used the lifelines just yet, this is the time to go ahead and do it. But the final question. When did Steffi Graf win the Golden Slam, four slams plus an Olympic gold? Was it A, 1988, B, 1990, C, 1992, or D, 1996? And, well, that is the final question of the show. Well, I'm definitely, definitely very intrigued to see how many of you did get all 15 questions correct. And as for the correct answer to the final question of the show, it's a 1980. Eight. Well, my absolute biggest congratulations to all 295 of you that did correctly answer to all 15 questions. 1,000 euros will be equally divided between all of you who did, which is, you know, 295 of you. As for me, it has been an absolute pleasure to be here and host this show. If you do want to continue your fun together with us, you can check out Adventures Beyond Wonderlands. As well as if you did miss this show, do not forget that in three hours we'll be having yet another Who Wants to Be a Millionaire show and I'll be more than happy to see you there. Nevertheless, my time's up. So for those of you who I do see in three hours, I'll be more than happy. For the rest of you, enjoy your day and have a great summer. I will catch you later. Ciao.